Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about some changes to the default way that code is written in Odri that have been made in March 2021. So if you learned something about how to write Odri before that and then you install a fresh new installation of Odri now um, and start a new app, you might uh, notice that things look a little bit differently. So I, I did exactly that. This is a fresh new version of Odri um, and I created one app that I call test app um, and this is the app folder. So if you're used to the old format, you would have expected a file called models.py and a file called pages.py here and then a subfolder called templates and in the subfolder you would have expected um, these template files. And now um, there's just one Python file called init.py uh, and this file combines what used to be the models.py and the pages.py. So if we look at this file, you see here your classes, your constant, your subsession, your group, and your player. And um, so as you can see, this is exactly what you were used to having in the uh, in the models.py file. And you have your pages down here, my page, results page, page and results page. So the default pages that come with a new uh, new app and the page sequence. And this part is what used to be in the pages.py file. So that is kind of the main thing. But on top of these things moving all to one file, some small things about the way code is written have also changed. And we want to discuss these uh, later on. So to look at this, I copied in one of my old apps here that you know if you followed this tutorial series. So this is the divide numbers with treatments apps. There's a models.py and a pages.py. Um, yeah, and here it has it has the page. We have some form fields. We generate some random numbers. Um, so nothing special. And we have the models.py where we store our our information here. We have the sub session, and uh, importantly, we have the creating session here where we do some randomization into two different treatments. And to see how this looks like with the new code. Um, I'm going to use a function that comes with Otree that updates old apps to the new apps. So if you update Otree to the new version, version 5 or larger, um, then you need to run a few commands in order to update your code. So you need to type Otree um, update my code down here. And so this hasn't actually changed anything visible yet. And that is because for the most part, you can still just write exactly the same code as you used uh, to write also in the old version of Otri. Um, so you don't have to follow this new style that we see here. It's just the new default style. Um, but there are some minor things that might have to be adjusted. And that's what this update my code is for. But here, um, it, it basically um, did nothing. But there's also another function O3 remove self and that actually changes old school apps with the models.py and the pages.py to the new style um, with just one file. So let's run that now. Let's uh, close these files first and then run O3 remove self. And yeah, so we have the backup here. This is our old app. And now here we have our new app. Um, and so what what has changed? As you can see, we have everything in this init.py um, file now. Um, and yeah, we have our, our um, pages. But what has changed is a couple of things. So first of all, the creating session function has been moved out of the subsession. Um, so um, if, you, if you look at how this was in the old version here in the backup, the creating session function was defined within the subsession and now it is defined here as a separate function. Um, and another big thing is that the self has been removed almost everywhere. Or no, everywhere. Um, so if this is especially visible on the pages. So if you used to be here on the old pages.py file before converting and you wanted to 
um, store something in the player field, you used to do self dot player dot random number and then random number here in the models dot pi. This is um, this is a field that I created here. With the new style, you just do player dot random number, so you don't need to use self anymore. Um, and that's also why these these backup things called remove self backup or the new style is called the no self style. Um, and that that comes from some some changes in the background that were made in the backgrounds that made sure that self is no longer necessary to tell the page which player um, it is supposed to get. So basically everywhere where you use the right self, you just leave the self. Um, and except for that, things are generally the same. As I mentioned before, the old format is still supported also in the latest version of Otri. So if you have old apps that use the models in the pages.py and you don't want to change, but you do want to use the latest version of Otri, um, then you can still update and everything will be fine. The only issue is that you cannot create new apps in the old format using the latest version of Otri. So if you use the Otri startup command uh, to make a new app, you will always get apps with this init.py. And the way to get around this is that before you update, you just create an empty app in the old format and you just keep this app. And every time you want a new app, you just copy it and modify it and it will still work in the latest version. And there might be uh, a way to create new apps with the old format again in the future. So I talked with the developers of Otri about that and they said they are looking into implementing this, but for now keeping an app and copying it um, is the way to go. If you're asking yourself whether you should use the old or the new format, I think this mainly depends on two things. Um, first of all, it depends on which format you like more. So for me, I personally prefer the old format because especially with large apps, having everything in one file can make things a little bit cluttered and unorganized. Um, and I have no issue using the old self format because I'm so used to it. I rarely forget to write self. Um, but if you work on smaller projects or you ke keep getting confused on where to put self or not, uh, then maybe the new format is more for you. And another thing is um, about how long you think you are going to be working with Otri because this new format is probably here to stay and it will be become the new default and people who start learning Otri in the next year or so will mostly start learning with the new format so over time if you want to use apps that other people have written um, they will more and more be written in the new format so it might make sense to make the switch as well but if you are just uh, say writing a master thesis and need to use Otri for one more year before you stop doing research or if you gen generally don't know whether you're going to be doing experimental research in the longer term future then I think it is fine to stick with the old format if that's what you're used to um, especially because um, the developers of Otri have said that they're going to support this forward format in the foreseeable future so there's no pressure to change yeah, so that was all I wanted to talk about in this video and hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.